Welcome back for another episode of Bad Therapist, Law and Order Edition, because our story begins at an Arizona state prison facility in Buckeye, Arizona, where our psychologist was providing services to inmates in the maximum security yard when they were suddenly fired by the private firm that they were working for, contracted with the prison. See, it turns out that their employer found out from the Arizona Department of Corrections that the psychologist's security clearance was revoked for having unprofessional fraternization with one of the inmates. Now, as the investigation began, the psychologist insisted that they did not have a sexual relationship with the prisoner and that this was a misunderstanding. And maybe it was. The only slight problem, they then discovered that some inmates reported having sexually explicit photos of the psychologist in their hand. Now, the psychologist again said they didn't do that on purpose either and must be another accident, that they had taken those photos for their partner and then perhaps had misplaced them or just thrown them away. You know, someone maybe took them out of the trash, as one often does with sexually explicit photos of themselves. You just leave them whole in a trash can for people to find. Oh, and also the place they said they left them turns out, according to the Department of Corrections, to not be in any way accessible to inmates ever at any time. Now, at this point, the board found that the psychologist had engaged in quote, poor judgment, and perhaps this could go either way. Except, as usual in these stories, just one more thing. The board discovered another discrepancy on this person's application, where they had checked no on the box saying, have you ever been terminated for cause from another employer? This was a slight oversight. It turns out the slightly more correct answer was, yes, I've been terminated and for cause. Can you guess why? If you guessed unprofessional fraternization with a client who was on parole, you guessed correctly. So at least this person has a type. Anyway, needless to say, they are no longer licensed to practice in the state of Arizona. Although based on other episodes of Bad Therapists, I can't actually speak to whether they're licensed anywhere else. That's all for now. Stay tuned for the next episode of Bad Therapists.